your resettlement journey to Canada. 3. In Canada. You have arrived in Canada. What happens next? Step 1. Travel to your final destination. Airport reception services in Canada will assist you in traveling to your final destination. Step 2. Meet the people who will help you. Upon arrival, you will receive immediate settlement support from your government-funded organization and or your sponsors depending on your resettlement program. When you arrive, they will welcome you to Canada and explain important rules and regulations that you need to know. Step 3. Stay at a temporary accommodation. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will arrange temporary accommodation where you will stay when you first arrive in Canada. Types of temporary accommodation will differ depending on your resettlement program. Step 4. Apply for important documents. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you apply for important documents. They will take the time to explain each document's importance. Among these documents is a social insurance number. This number is important. It is needed to work in Canada and to apply for government programs and benefits. You will also apply for a health insurance card from your province or territory to eventually access health care services. These identity documents belong to you. No one should keep your documents for you. Make photocopies and keep them in a safe place. Step 5. Open a bank account. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you open a bank account and will provide you with information on how to access and use money in Canada. Step 6. Move into permanent housing. You will need to move out of temporary accommodation as soon as suitable permanent housing is found to make space for other newly arrived people. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you find permanent housing and understand the terms of your rental contract. They will also show you how to stay safe in your new home. Step 7. Enroll children at school and adults in language classes. Once you are settled into your new home, your government-funded organization or your sponsors will assist you in understanding the school system in your province or territory. They will help enroll children in your family in school while adults will enroll in language classes. There, adults study English and or French for free, learn about Canadian culture, and meet new people. Step 8. Access medical services. If there is an urgent medical need, your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you. The Interim Federal Health Program covers essential medical services for you and your family until you can access your province or territory's health care program. Make sure to inform someone you trust about any urgent medical needs, including allergies and dietary requirements. Step 9. Get to know your community. You'll be given an orientation about your new community by your government-funded organization or your sponsors. For example, they will explain how to use local public transportation to get around your new community. As you settle, try to meet other people. You can do this by volunteering, attending school or language classes, enrolling in group programs available, and visiting a community center. Step 10. Stay active and healthy. Look at the different sports and pastimes you can practice. Step 11. Take steps to become self-sufficient. Since you will only receive a limited amount of money to cover your basic needs, your government-funded organization or your sponsors will advise you on how to spend your money responsibly. You can ask them to connect you with employment-related services. Step 12. Settling in a new country will take time and effort. 
Seek help when needed and ask questions. When you find someone you trust, share any concerns or challenges with them so they can support you and help you find solutions. All settlement services are free of charge. Each case is unique and the sequence of steps in this video may vary. Good luck in Canada. Thank you.